What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Everspace, where we are going to be dealing with our Okar friends over here. I'm going to release a combat drone in the hopes that I might be able to do something here. There we go. So that's one drone down, or one Okar thingamadoobie down. I think I lack the energy to knock him down any further, so I'm going to have to go in with the missiles. And we have knocked out Okar Interceptors. Welcome, welcome, welcome on back. This has been a lot of fun so far. There's a secure container over there, and so I am not going to balk at the opportunity to get some super bitchin' gear. I think that's what I want to accomplish here today. We have shield generators on this side, so let's go ahead and wipe those out. And allowing my health to recover and my energy to recover for just a few seconds more. Damn. How many nanobots do I have? Four? Alright, repair the ship. That's down. Do we have any turrets in here that really want to hurt me? I bet we do. So we have shield generators which are surrounding, I guess, little loot troves. Let's cause some explosions and maybe make some havoc here. Tech container. We got heavy missiles and energized boost blueprints. Hell yeah. Secure container. What you got for me? Transmit my secure key over. It looks like it's going to open up and give us a grid of loot. Oh, snap. A Hull Enhancer Mark III. I will swap that for the shield disruptor because that gives us minus 20% damage to our hull. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Got some fuel left over and whatnot. We've got an Okar interceptor up very, very close right now. That's not good. We may just want to jump from here, I think. Like, there is more loot around. Oh, there's nanobots over there. I like nanobots. He can't shoot me through the shield. Douche! Is what we shout as we fly away. That's what he gets. Next zone! Goodbye! I've stolen all of your loot. It's all mine. It's inside my goodie bags now. And I'm flying off into the distance. Your goodie bag's trailing behind me. What's going on over here? So we got a GMB station. I'm hoping they add more factions in the future. I'd also like to be able to do this with different types of ships, like some of them frigates. You know. Maybe I'll scan with my probe real quick. My sensors are impaired. Well, it's a good thing. Oof. Oh, that's right. That means when sensors are down, I can't lock on anymore, which makes this quite a bit more difficult. We got three fuel right there. I'll take it. A couple of freebie nanobots. We got Okar fighters coming in. I really hate having my sensors disrupted. Nope, not what I needed. That's good, though. That works. Come on, stay on him. There it is. They are very, very weak to missiles, if you didn't know that about the Okar. They go down pretty quick when applied to projectile weaponry like missiles. Anything else, though, and they can be a tough steal. If you got to beat them with energy weapons or any other random things, they are quite nasty. A shield breaker missile. I will take that. We will salvage it for ore. Because light missiles are just fine for me. Mineable gas pockets, GMB mining drones, mineable gas pockets. Let's try to get all of these before we break off and go somewhere else. I do think they will have value in the future, especially if we can find little merchant craft or whatever to unload them at. I'm being fired on by someone. Who I'm being fired on by, I don't know. Let me get behind something here. Who is firing on me? Who dares fire upon me? Oh, an outlaw scout. Okay. 
I accept you as an opponent, and I destroy you now. I take your life from you, for you have applied it poorly. Outlaw drone, Mark II, should go down pretty rapidly. He's done. We got 15 fuel from one of those guys, which is absolutely fantastic. I think something just tried to jump in from the way that we're facing over there. I saw some red shit off on that side that has me kind of worried. Tech containers over here, tech containers over here. So, while we're in the neighborhood, why not stop by and knock on a couple of doors and get ourselves paid? Ain't got no energy though, so... Scattergun 2, Weapon Overdrive. Don't really like the Scattergun very much. Instead, I will use that for parts. 450 bucks right there. A Weapon Overdrive. That allows us to increase our weapon's fire rate and damage for some seconds. Decreases your weapon's energy consumption at the same time. That's pretty good. I'm going to swap that instead of the Hull Enhancer. Just because it's a new object and I want to play around with it. We've got tech containers over there, but we also have tech containers over here. Ooh, but we also have mines over here. Maybe blap a couple of those on approach. It is going to take me some moments, though in order to get these all efficiently cleared. So, there is a possibility. Shock Rifle Plus over here. That's loot that's too good to walk away from because that's better than what we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it and then we'll destroy the old one. This one has a fire rate mod on it, which means that hopefully it'll charge faster. Get rid of as many mines as possible before I go any further into this adventure. Scrap right there, and actually, I'm just going to extricate myself from this web, this nasty mess of mines here. Perfect. Let's get out of the zone. We had a really, really good zone right there, and I'm happy with the hull, so I don't see any reason to tempt fate and mess around with our lives. We might as well move along to the next zone. Yeah, I've had trouble. Basically, I've got a wedding coming up in like five days. And so anyways, setting up a wedding is an incredibly stressful and also time-consuming process. And so, I've just fallen behind on my work life. That's really what it comes down to. My YouTube stuff has just had to suffer for it. Because this is one of those one-in-a-lifetime things that you kind of want to get right the first time around. Give me a sector scan. I don't want to hold on to my stuff anymore. I don't want to be a miser. Wow, what a waste of a zone. So, we've got a bunch of stuff over here. I guess we'll check on that first. Energized boost will get us there quicker. Free scrap, free gas. Looks like we had some kind of fight over here. And then also we'll be getting some freebie scrap and some further free credits. Let's go ahead and wiggle our way on into there. And on that side, we've got even more good stuff. So I would actually be of the opinion, well, that's inside of a warp storm, though, or inside of a EMP field. Maybe we go around it. Oh, we also have enemies who have joined the zone now. Almost right on top of us. Shock rifle, please. One down. Energy's fragmented a little bit, but it's not too bad. Big hit right there. And down he goes. Enemies eliminated. Post haste. Man, that's a good gun. That's a really, really good gun. It's one of those guns that makes me happy in a very Christmassy, like, ho, ho, ho kind of way. No, wrong button. That was my bad. Didn't mean to hit R right there, but I hit R anyway, so you know what? Energy's just going to have to suffer for it. Got a little bit of fuel, some credits, some nanobots, stasis missile, and six more fuel. Yeah, that sounds all right to me. Okay. Let's go check out these treasures over here, although it all looks like it's inside the EMP storm. It's difficult to gauge. It's hard to tell if I can actively get at this thing without being inside the cloud. My guess is that it's going to force me to be inside the cloud, which is not something that I relish the thought of. Actually, it kind of looks like the cloud's in front of it. We might be able to be inside here without getting ourselves in trouble. 
I do want the crystals, because that's a rare resource that we never have enough of. And in the case that we've got to repair our ship, these are going to be very, very useful for a number of little projects. Perfect. Some ore out there, but we have more than enough of that, so in the interest of prioritizing my time, I'm going to go after the tech containers instead. Got a damage limiter. Uh, my guess is that that acts as it sets a threshold for the maximum damage you can take, maybe, from one hit. Probably good to pop if you're coming under fire by a bunch of missiles or anything else. We're done here. Scanning probe, you done good. It's time for us to move on to the next sector and be the hell on out. I like this game. This game scratches a lot of itches for me. I've been having a lot of fun with Everspace, both the graphical representation, the production of the game, the performance. Everything in this game has me just, like, on my tippy toes, ready to cheer for future updates. So I can't wait to see what happens. We... And the Oka. First contact led to an escalating series of misunderstandings. Let's choose. What do you mean? I'm going to use my superior cash flow to hopefully get some of this lined up. If I had gel, I'd be able to get some stuff done here, but nope. No gel to be had. Where are these dudes at? A light fighter just wiped out whatever the shit that was. Then we got an outlaw scout on this side. Give me the beam laser. And we'll go in on him real fast. There it is, taken care of. All in exchange for five nanobots. Not terrible at all. It looks like there's a ship over there. It is a fuel freighter or something of that kind. We've got some scrap around. I'm going to go to the plasma field very quickly so that we get something out of this zone. But just be warned, when you're in a transition zone, it seems like the timer is lower for how long you're allowed to be here before the Okar start to shove themselves into your nether regions. Seven plasma, very, very nice. Not a bad haul. Wow, 23 plasma from that field. Very, very nice. We've got more than enough fuel to where I feel confident about our ability to continue. Ooh, mineable scrap. I will grab that just in case in the future... We end up having to get more missiles because I think we probably will. There we go. And actually, we're pretty low on missiles right now, so I would strongly consider... I mean, if we have enough, you might as well. So there it is. We now have 20 light missiles in case we get ourselves into any really, really big engagements that require us to unload the brucka on somebody. Brucka, brucka. Clap, clap. We out here, fool. Where you at? See, I just come up with these ideas. I got these singles in my head right now. I'm going to assist with the Okar first. Because I think they'll be the more difficult opponents here. So, if I could focus on Okar casualties. I just can't seem to get the little bastard. There we go. Outlaw scouts are likely going to turn on us now. Which is not good. This will enhance your weapon damage considerably. I like the sound of that. That's right, back up. There you go. Fine out. What you know about me? I come through here, I'll mess up everybody's game. It'd be ugly. A subroutine daredevil. What does that do? Weapons no longer require energy and deal more damage, but your shield is permanently disabled. That's definitely not worth it. Shields are just too valuable in this game. They're just too good. The core density creates a stronger gravitational pull with proximity. Be aware of this on approach, unless you want to experience being turned inside out. Nice mental image. Thanks. Oh, there's actually a black hole right there. Yeah, that technically we shouldn't be allowed to be this close to that thing. It's something. I don't know what it is. Is this a destroyed station over here? Or is this one operational? This one appears to be operational. We also have further interceptors jumping into the zone. Some kind of enemy that wants to spar with us. He 
He is, however, going to try and drag our fire. Yeah, I think he succeeded as well. Basically, what I was worried about is that he was going to try and drag my fire across the GMB people. And I think I may have accidentally impacted him with my weapons. Um, let's go ahead and get an energize. Oh, shit, I got an energized boost. All right. Well, they're coming at us from that direction, so let me get on repairs so that that's done. We've got 15 out of 20 nanobots, so we should be solid here. I just got to get some gaps in between me and them. Oh, no, it's still outlaws. Okay. There's one down right there. Go ahead and give him a little piece, too. Eternal piece. Because that's what I deal in. They all seem to be very much faster than I am, too, so I might spend some cash. Just kind of making myself a tad speedier with my next couple dollars. We have Outlaw Weber's Overseers. Let's get rid of him first. Outlaw Drones, those are easy enough to pick off. Oh, they're all Outlaw Drones. Okay. Easy enough. A simple resolution. I wasn't expecting the Pirates to win over here, but they actually won kind of handily. They took out the GNB or GNH or whatever the hell their names are, Sugar Company Space Miners. They took their asses out pretty quickly. Where's my exit? There it is. That's what I like to see. I mean, we got well executed zones right here. They patched the game earlier, so I'm pretty sure they made some amount of balance changes because the game does feel a little bit simpler and easier. Which I think is a good thing and a bad thing. I, I liked the vicious level of difficulty that it had previously, but it did make getting... Because there were certain things in this game that you just could not stand up to. Like, you were just going to get your ass whooped. And so it feels like they've toned down some of, like, the insta-gib deaths, essentially. And in the meantime... They've also increased resources or something. Wow, there are a bunch of outlaws out here. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I want to be involved at all. They got elites and all kinds of stuff in here. I don't even know if it's worth it, like, flinging energy in that direction. There's one. See, and sometimes the reticle's red, but you still don't get the kill. Oh, they know it's me now. Shit. That's another one down. I'm going to try and pick on some of these little goobers over here. Just get the nastier stuff up and out of the way before anybody else closes with me. Okay, the elite is down. I need some kind of... Oh, I don't know. I gotta do something. He's down. We've taken some hull damage. All I can really well and truly hope for here... Definitely had to go in right there. Shield booster on this side. Increases shield's hit points and recharge rate. What does the damage limiter do? Reduces incoming damage for a short amount of time. Oh, I probably could have used that too. Let's swap that for the mines because I don't see myself ever having the time to prepare booby traps or mines or anything like that. I just don't see it as being like a likely outcome. We got access keys. We got credits in plenty over here. Okay. I am happy with that. We've got some kind of craft over there. We've got what looks like a possible pirate base over here. Like, I wouldn't know, but they've got these little cylinders or whatever. These typically hold fuel. A bunch of nanobots, nano kits. Credits over on this side. I don't know if this belongs to anybody, but hell, it's getting wasted. Got a nano kit. 
Got some credits down here. As I recall, oh, there's actually an invisible wall right there. Okay. As I recall, nano kits are pretty good. Repairs a random damage component. So yeah, that's a really, really, really good item. That's something that sometimes you just want to have around because it'll make your life easier. Got an outlaw drone right there who is now dead. We got overseers and all kinds of other little things down here. Outlaw Webbers. This does, like, having a long-range engagement option is fantastic. It really does make life a lot easier when it comes to dealing with these assholes. We got a scattergun blueprint over here. So now we can make a scattergun, I guess. Give me just something to get rid of these little Webbers with. There we go. It's a shame you don't get XP in this game. I wish that you did so that there were like internal level ups and stuff like that too. That'd be the bomb diggity, as my old college professor used to say. However... Oh, nanobots resource limited. Well, then use those to repair so that I'm no longer limited. We are probably getting right towards the edge of the game's patience with us though. Where's my shock rifle? So I got an outlaw drone on that side. That appears to be the only foe that really, really, really wants a taste, though. Got a communications hub over here. Snipe that drone. He's done. Snipe that drone. He's done. Basically, you want to wait till the reticle turns red, and if your reflexes are fast enough, when it flickers red real fast, you can release the key. And it will more than likely blap them into submission. We got outlaw missile turrets over here. Oh, I'm going to get shot in the face with a missile, I guess. Okay. They've also mined the hell out of this region. Give me the beam laser. I find the beam laser is easiest for mine cleanup. Free credits. Excellent. Perfect. Another one out of the way. There are not mines inside the facility, are there? Cool. Local information apparently gathered. And it looks like there is a plethora of stuff out here that I very much want. Let's grab what we can, and once the Okar starts showing up, we'll probably try to get the hell out of Dodge. Outlaw turrets gotta go. Got a tractor beam. Increases your ship's range for collecting pickups. Don't need it. Don't want it. Won't have it. We got shield breaker missiles on board. We're also taking fire from yet another outlaw turret. Down they go. We've got a pulse laser plus plus. It's got a fire rate mod and an energy consumption mod. I would take that in exchange for that. It also does pretty good hull DPS. Solid hull DPS. We've also got a shield XC extra charge version. The shield has an increased recharge rate. Shorter shutdown delays at the... This was actually pretty good, as I recall, the last time we took it. So I'm going to swap it out as well. Containers on this side. We just pulled in 16 free scrap from there. There are some minor tech containers over here. Got a weapon overdrive 3 and a couple of Webers. I will get rid of that. That's a weapon overdrive mark 2. Better version of what we already have. I think the loot quality has been increased as well. Now that I'm actually playing, it feels as though the loot is better. Like, you've got a better chance now because you're actively picking up things that don't suck. Whereas previously, it was hard to get by on things that were just not that good. A thermo gun. This weapon may not be, but homing projectiles always hit the target. I would take that in exchange for the beam laser just to play around with it. I want to see what it does because we've got new weapons that I've never seen before. So those are heat-seeking bullets for close range. Alright. I can accept that. Sounds good to me. There's a lot of things on this map. This is like a fire sale of a map. Like, no joke, there is a lot of loot on this map. So it looks like it's kind of like the Needler, I guess. Yeah. 
The pulse laser is one of my favorite weapons because I love automatic weaponry. We've got an outlaw turret over here. What better to test my pulse lasers on? Made short work of it. Very, very nice. We have interceptors inbound. Okay, so I will take the nanobots. I will take that. We have another turret to deal with on this side. I'll put some rounds on him. And then we will do our best to get the hell on up and out of here. My name is Splattercat. This is Everspace, a game that I very much like. Probably one of my favorites of the year. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.